Hi there, Brian. Thank you very much for coming into Red Kite Cycles today. It's great to see you. We're here to talk a bit about Tommy Godwin. Um, you knew the man. Can you say a little bit about how that came to pass? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, back in uh, the early 70s, very early 70s, um, I was just about to leave school and I had a Saturday job in uh, Tommy's shop in Silver Street in Kingsley. Mm -hmm. um, I started cycling when I was about 13 and um, met Tommy through, uh, through going into his shop to buy various bits and pieces and um, got to know him uh, through uh, riding and racing and uh, eventually I persuaded him to give me a, a few hours on a Saturday to uh, make some money to pay for the parts and, and that's really how I got to know him. Excellent, thank you. And so the bike in front of us, um, this is a, it says Tommy Godwin on it, it's yours. It's mine, yeah. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about it? By all means, yes, Adrian. Um, in 1973, uh, myself and uh, uh, three other guys from the Speedwell Bicycle Club, um, Steve Lockwood, Phil O'Hara and Dave Hunt, uh, we used to race uh, as a team quite regular. And we decided to get uh, to, to buy team bikes. So we had four Tommy Godwin specials made up to, uh, to, this, to this spec. And I believe this is the only one still left in existence in its original state, although I think Steve still rides his as a, as a winter hack. Mm, very nice. And what's completely unusual about this bike is that it's an early 70s bike but all of the original parts Absolutely. Uh, yeah. are on it. So it isn't a bike that you've ridden all of the time. That's right. It's been yeah. a best bike for a decade or two. That's it, yeah. And, um, but the, the frame was made by? The, the, all the Tommy Godwin's frames were made by Mercian in Derbyshire. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, it's, it's a classic Mercian. Even the, the, the transfers themselves are in the same style. The, uh, the Tommy Godwin um, uh, name is in the same kind of same font, same font as uh, as the Mercian bikes. Yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful bike. Okay. It's uh, it's what's unusual as well is it's very slightly faded. It has yes it's over the, the years. The red yeah. has changed a bit. That's the cream it. here. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Um, so this bike, I remember you bought it in. It was clean. It was good, but it, the tires were completely de decayed. They really absolutely. were. They were yeah. they were rotten. Yeah. yeah. Um, we did a, the lightest touch restoration mm -hmm. on it that we could yeah. do. We kept the original um, braided outside um, cables. We've re uh, we've relined those, right. um, cleaned it, greased it, done everything to it, mm -hmm. put new tubs on. Um, but you rode this in the Eroica this year. I did indeed. Yes, um, I had it back off here <laughs> for for a couple of weeks while I. Uh, uh, went out and had uh, a, a few rides just to uh, get myself used to it again and it was amazing it was just as if I put the bike away the day before got back on the bike and it was as good as ever and for a bike that is um, well over 40 years old it rides so well and it's so responsive it's a wonder it's still it's bike so absolutely it's an absolute and pleasure can I group this? of course yes when when this bike was built you could not get better bike. All the components on it were the top rate, Campagnolo, um, and you, you couldn't go out and buy a better bike. You couldn't get a better bike for the Tour de France. What was nice about this bike is it's a mixture of Italian components, but it's a Reynolds frame. It is, yeah, Reynolds 531 double butted tubing, yeah. From locally. That's it, yeah. Brooks Saddle. Brooks Saddle, yeah. A local product yeah. again. Yeah. Um, but you're going to ride the bike in September again? That's right, yes, it's uh, getting another outing this year on the uh, 25th of September. I'll be riding the uh, Tommy Godwin Sportif. Excellent, this is, um, I think this is the fourth year we've run the Sportif. Um, we're aiming to raise um, enough money to fund the hospice for two days. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great cause, we raise money for the Marie Curie Hospice in Solihull. Um, and uh, Brian's going to be on this bike. Hopefully, you might get a chance to catch him at the start. Um, you'll have trouble keeping up with him because he's still quick. But um, yeah, no, <laughs> and modest. Um, but um, yeah, we look forward to maybe seeing you there. Um, and if not, then drop into the shop and 
uh, pop and see the bike sometime. It's away now for the next couple of weeks whilst uh, Brian gets his legs into shape on this bike. And um, yeah, thank you for coming in today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Cheers.